Shirley from the Kangen and Wukong Power Team Singapore. Energy Kangen water is electrolyzed reduced water rich in active hydrogen and is micro clustering. Um, it is different from alkaline water. Um, I'm doing a demo on pH 11.5 strong um, Kangen water. Um, strong Kangen water have very strong um, oil removing properties. Um, the farmer wear masks to spray oil based uh, pesticide which is poisonous and we eat the produce. So um, now I'm going to share with you uh, how 11.5 can remove oil based uh, pesticides. Okay, so uh, when we wash our tomato, usually we use tap water. So now I'm going to show you how 11.5 can help. So these are tomato. sesame oil. So I'm going to pour the sesame oil into the two cup. Okay, so when we wash our tomato, usually we use uh, tap water. Uh, when we wash our rice, also we use tap water. Okay, so now I'm using strong alkaline, um, strong kangen water to wash the tomato and to wash the rice. Okay, and also um, in school we learned that oil and water don't mix. So if I add oil into sesame oil, water. Eh, I'm gonna add water, tap water into sesame oil. The oil will float on top of the water. Okay, so now I'm using 11.5 on tap water, okay, on the sesame oil. So you can see that the 11.5 can emulsify oil. So now you can see the two cup. Um, this one is with tap water, this one is with 11.5. So 11.5 can emulsify oil. Okay, so if we are washing our rice with um, tap water and 11.5, tomato with tap water, tomato with 11.5 pH. Okay. So um, you can see the one that I wash with tap water is milky white in color. The one that I wash with pH 11.5 is a bit yellowish in color and there's a thin layer of foam on top of the water. So these are the oil-based pesticides. Uh, so by using tap water, it's impossible to remove away all the oil-based pesticides from your rice. Okay, next we have tomato. So tomato wash with tap water. Tomato wash with 11.5. So you can see from here Okay, the one that you wash with tap water You can only remove away some dirt But when you clean your tomato with 11.5 pH You can see that the water is very yellowish in color All these are the oil-based uh, pesticides Okay so uh, when we wash our our rice or vegetable, you know, with um, eleven point five, we can remove the oil-based pesticide. We can actually pump in some antioxidant into the tomato. Also, this one later I will show you another demo by cutting the tomato and with uh, ORP tester for you to see um, 
how the 11.5 water can actually pump in antioxidant in the tomato okay so um, beside um, 11.5 uh, using to remove the oil-based pesticides you can actually use 11.5 uh, to soak your feet twice a week um, to draw out the acidic waste in your body and detox your body and in the Japanese hospital okay actually um, for people who are having like muscle ache or injury um, you know they actually dampen the towel um, and place it with uh, um, dampen the towel with 11.5 and place it on the injured area for 20 to 30 minutes it can actually reduce inflammation okay like for um, cancer patient after chemo treatment okay uh, the doctor actually soak their feet with um, 11.5 for about 15 to 20 minutes to draw out the acid from the body and also to reduce inflammation and uh, if like cancer patient they are doing radiotherapy okay usually it will burn the skin so um, the doctor actually let the uh, patient um, use a towel and then dampen with 11.5 to place it on the burn area it can actually remove um, reduce the burn by about um, 70 percent beside ph 11.5 um, the machine also produce uh, ph 2.5 ph 2.5 is a strong acidic water it has very strong antiseptic properties in japan it has been used as disinfectant in hospital and restaurant for 40 over years um, 2.5 help to kill bacteria disinfect and heal wounds um, we also have a lab test report proving 2.5 can kill bacteria within 30 seconds including uh, salmonella and e coli okay uh, when we go to the market we buy fish or meat usually um, if the fish and meat is very fresh it should not have fishy smell so um, you know, when there's fishy smell meaning the fish is no longer fresh so we can actually soak um, our fish or our meat with 2.5 uh, to disinfect and kill bacteria okay um, also 2.5 you can use it as an air freshener to kill uh, airborne bacteria especially if there's someone uh, sick at home or in the office uh, 2.5 can also use to stop uh, bleeding it can help to uh, speed up wound healing and reduce scarring okay um, in the Japanese hospital um, the doctor used pH 2.5 to clean wound on a diabetic patient uh, so that uh, they don't have to uh, amputate their limbs um, 2.5 can also use to uh, sanitize your hand chopping board uh, toilet um, it can help to remove order and also um, 2.5 can use to replace a uh, mouse wash or disinfect a toothbrush um, we use our toothbrush um, for at least two to three months so in between actually it's good to um, disinfect the toothbrush like every two to three days with a uh, pH 2.5 and uh, pH 2.5 can also help to remove stain from our clothes okay um, you know um, there's Zika you know everybody know about Zika you know it's a kind of mosquito that will bite you and you'll fall sick <laughs> so you can actually use uh, pH 2.5 to spray on your skin all over your body um, because 2.5 got a very strong antiseptic smell so you will actually drive uh, the mosquito away okay um, to prevent mosquito bites the machine also produce another pH um, which is pH 6 beauty water so uh, beauty water we can actually use it to replace like our toner like SK2 and also uh, when you have a machine you actually can use um, beauty water as a firming and tightening toner so um, pH 6 can help to moisturize our skin um, soften brighten um, and hydrate our skin okay um, PA6 can also use for people who have eczema or psoriasis to moisturize the skin after uh, disinfect with 2.5. Okay, um, you can also use uh, PA6 to replace a mineral spray like uh, Evian or um, when you are driving in a car, you feel very tired, you can actually just uh, spray to refresh yourself so that you don't feel sleepy uh, during driving. And uh, the machine also produced another pH um, 7 
for medication and for you to prepare baby formula okay and uh, as I mentioned earlier when you soak your fruits or vegetable in tap water you cannot remove um, the oil-based pesticide and uh, there's also no antioxidant in the fruits and vegetable so if I soak my fruits or vegetable in pH 11.5 I can remove the oil-based uh, pesticides at the same time I can pump in antioxidant back into the fruits or vegetable so now I'm going to do a very simple test this is tomato soaked in tap water okay so I'm going to cut the tomato Okay, and then I'm going to use the meter to test whether the tomato is oxidized or the tomato has antioxidant in it. So as you can see the reading here, um, the tomato is a uh, positive 200 plus. So it's oxidized tomato. Okay, so now I'm going to cut tomato soap in 11.5. Okay. And the tomato, you can see the reading. Um, is that a negative sign in front now? Okay, so the tomato is a negative 100 over um, going up. Okay, so the tomato is um, already now that is a negative reading of 200 plus. So it's antioxidant tomato. Okay, so uh, please um, talk to the one who show you this video if you have any questions. Thank you.